Hello everyone, Tom the Grind here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit more about hero stacking. Now, as you guys know, I made a video a long, long time ago defending hero stacking to the death, and it's gotten, you know, a lot of traction. It's it's one of my more popular videos, and I've kind of been thinking about, uh, all, you know, the concept of hero stacking a lot, and it's been brought up a lot in terms of tournaments and professional play and a lot of stuff like that, and I decided to take one more look at what my you know what I thought about hero stacking now so hero stacking of course the whole controversy with it if you guys somehow don't know is the fact that uh, some people think that it's perfectly fine for there to be as many of one hero uh, at a time on one team so you could have two Lucios on the team if you wanted or you know you could have six tracers if you wanted and I I was defending that you know I I always defended it I defended it for as long as possible and I was super 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 passionate about that and you know it's not about you know the reason we're talking about this isn't because of like lore friendly reasons it's not like oh no there should only be able to be one tracer because there's only one tracer that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about hero stacking in terms of balancing now keep in mind this is completely different than hero switching hero switching I, I believe is, is completely perfect and I will never change my opinion on that most likely I mean because hero switching that the big game was built from the ground up on that but hero stacking is a little bit different and and we don't really have any like you know actual uh, competitive players kind of complaining about hero switching that's that's a good part of the game hero stacking is where we see a lot of competitive players actually you know complaining now the reason I started to mainly think about this is oh, there's a lot of things but there's there was a post on the uh, competitive overwatch subreddit by I'm um, sorry if I'm pronouncing your username wrong but cryotic maybe and he was just talking about, you know, the incoming split between professional and competitive Overwatch and how unhealthy it is because there's a lot of games where the competitive scene, like esports, the way they play the game is completely different than the way you could play it competitively at home. And so, you know, the big example here in Overwatch was all of the competitive players hate hero stacking. Not not all of them, I'm not going to generalize, but a lot of them hate hero stacking. And the reason being is because it's really hard to balance and because there's a lot of broken things, you know, that we can do. So one example that was, you know, talked about a lot was double Winston. So in a lot of competitive games, you, you know, double Winston on attack in tournaments was completely broken. Now, if you want to balance the game around that, because, you know, you can't nerf Winston because Winston isn't overpowered at all. He, you know, he's good, but he's not overpowered. And now if you nerf Winston, he's not even going to be good in stacking two of them, nor, you know, himself. And so it's just really hard to balance. I think one of the earliest uh, examples we had of this was in the beta when we had D.Va. We had a professional tournament and I think it was on Volskaya Industries, I believe. I, I may be wrong on that. But one of the teams was about to lose on control points and they all like switched to D.Va. And they, they won because it was like, how, how do you counter that? So they nerfed D.Va and now D.Va's in one of the worst play, you know, and what she's one of the worst heroes. She's going to get buffed in one of the future patches. It's already been confirmed. So we've already kind of proven that we can't really, um, you know, nerf or uh, buff people based on hero stacking. You know, we have it where Zenyatta, his orbs don't stack, um, but that's not enough because Although stacking Zenyatta's aren't really a problem, we can't do things like what we did with Zenyatta with other heroes. I mean, how do you do that with double Winstons? Because Zenyatta, yeah, you, you can say, okay, well, both of the orbs, you can't stack, you know, uh, Harmony orbs on your teammates, and you can't stack Discord orbs on your enemies. So, you know, that, that's an easy fix. But how do you do that for Winston? You can say only one Winston can damage at a time? No, I mean, that's ridiculous. And, you know, I feel like... The reason why a lot of people, including myself earlier, was so strong against the concept of putting a one hero limit per team uh, is because of the fact that in the games we have played, it doesn't seem that strong. But when you have all these competitive players that have played, you know, uh, like Cryotic mentioned, 3,000 games or more, I feel like we should listen to them a little bit more then we listen to ourselves and, you know, maybe the hundreds of games we've played rather than thousands. And, you know, another another part of this is, although it can be fun, you know, to, to be like, hey, let's all pick six tracers and, you know, get it, a lot of the time the surprise factor in that 
it doesn't matter if the enemy team is good enough and you know if they understand how to switch heroes if I so like as an example if I'm playing with my team we have a six stack we pick a really good team composition we have great communication the enemy team picks six Winstons yeah we can go ahead and switch to six you know we can switch to Symmetras and Junkrats and you know people that counter Winston but most likely they're gonna get that first point and it's going to be kind of unfair because yeah although we can now counter them they got a free control point or they got a free thing and if we end up going to stopwatch mode which we aren't right now but if we go to a mode that kind of is determined by time all of these like really stupid cheesy team compositions are going to be kind of even more necessary and so the number one there's two main reasons why i've kind of switched my switched my perspective on this and first of all is because of the fact that you know you can have these certain team compositions where they can win the game in you know or get the first point instantly and then have a ridiculous amount of time to get the second point and also because it's really really hard to balance and you know when you have zenyatas they, they did a good job because stacking zenyatas that was actually a problem because you could have two zenyatas put the harmony on a tank and the tank wouldn't really ever die and so it's like, yeah, yeah, we can we can prevent that from happening, but how do you do that with the other heroes? And when we're trying to make all these balance patches, or when Blizzard is, and they're trying to balance all of these heroes, you know, around each other, and, it, you know, they, they've said it's not supposed to be, you know, a 1v1, you know, not every hero is not supposed to be able to 1v1 every other hero. It's supposed to kind of be a game of rock, paper, scissors, but on a much larger scale. Having, you know, doubles and triples and even more of you know a hero makes it really really hard as an example one of the most recent things we had was a lot of teams were having two McCrees and so McCree I mean that was also a kind of easier fix because McCree himself was you know a little bit ridiculous because he could insta kill anyone so that that wasn't really a problem but uh, you know it's gonna be a lot harder to balance things like you know Winston and so another kind of point to this is a lot of tournament organizers actually have been enforcing rules so you know they've enforced a one hero limit and a lot of competitive players are saying that they like that because you know you don't have to always have two Winstons on attack on a lot of maps you don't have to have you know you know it's you don't have to have a lot of these things and it just seems a lot friendlier for you know spectating I know that's not a reason like if that was the only reason for spectating that's not something that we should you know try to push for but because it's it just helps it's nice it helps for spectating because if there's only possibly at max two of the same hero in a game because one friendly you know one on one team one on the other team it's a lot easier to actually distinguish between the the actual characters and although hero switching makes the you know spectating a little a little bit harder it, it, that's what makes the game the game itself if you couldn't switch you know that's it would break the entire game the everything the game is going for it but uh, so I just I really think that you know we should kind of all take another look at hero stacking and you know what what it does because like I said first of all there's a lot of cheesy strats that can guarantee you you know most of the time a first point regardless of how good the enemy team is second of all it's hard it's really hard to balance um, you know uh, things like double Winston and stuff like that and so you know there's also been a few more suggestions like maybe making the competitive mode in overwatch you know have a hero limit but maybe quick play can still not have the hero limit because when you're playing quick play you're not expecting it to be the most competitive so if you want to do six tracer or six winston team compositions yeah you could play quick play and although there was a little bit of strategy with you know oh maybe we should pick two lucios on this map rather than a mercy and a lucio you know it it'll overall be for the better i think especially when we get more heroes because Right now, you know, we only have four supports, three of which are healers. There's only three healers because Symmetra, in my opinion, is a defense hero. She's not a support. So, um, so, so we, we only have Zenyatta, Mercy, and Lucio. And so on a lot of maps, it's like, oh, maybe we do need two Lucios because there's only three healers. But I feel, especially since one of the mo you know more recent heroes, I think we're going to be getting a Sombra. I think, you know, the hero stacking issue will be less of a problem. And 
So I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about kind of how why I've changed my opinion a little bit on that and give some examples. And I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. So if you enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to see more Overwatch content and news. And like always, guys, see you next time.